Brooks O'Brien. Um, I wanted to thank EndoFound for having me and Dr. Seshkin for being so incredible. Um, I'm going to give a little speech, uh, which I'm not used to doing, so bear with me. And um, just, I, I'm, I've been diagnosed with endometriosis and I wanted to share a little bit about my story. And um, yeah, uh, so a few things that many, many, many different people told me. Um, when I was going through this experience where periods can be very painful, you'll be okay. Or try a heating pad, you know, I'm sure that th that'll make you feel better in no time. Or maybe it's just stress and anxiety. Or, you know, try a gluten-free diet, try a dairy-free diet. Maybe it's IBS, maybe it's an eating disorder. Um, being a young actor in Hollywood is really stressful. Are you sure your, son your stomach pain isn't just an eating disorder? Um, and recently, a endometriosis specialist actually told me, you can't let the pain break you. Um, this is something you're going to have to go through the rest of your life. Um, these are all things that people told me in the last three and a half years. And um, anyway, 
Hi everyone, again, my name is Lily Brooks O'Brien. I'm 16 years old. I um, have been a professional actress since I was eight years old, and although endometriosis doesn't define me, here's a little bit of my story. Um, I began experiencing symptoms when I started my period at 13. Excruciating, stabbing pain, uh, fatigue, migraines, nausea, and within the first two months of my period, I started passing 10 to 12 large um, golf ball sized blood clots and my periods would last about 12 days each month. Um, I'm lucky my mom doesn't have endometriosis and knew that this was not normal for me to be going through and she took me to her gynecologist and I started taking medication to reduce my bleeding which helped but it didn't stop my pain. I was still in tremendous pain having migraines, nausea and, um, and more. My gynecologist recommended a gluten-free diet, dairy-free diet, and um, none of that, any of those lifestyle changes, they didn't help. And um, I was also working on a TV show at the time. I was playing the lead in an Apple TV Plus show. And um, while I was filming, I was experiencing the most excruciating pain. And I, in between takes, I would curl up into a ball on the floor and in pain. Um, my mom actually took me to the emergency room and the doctors told me that I had um, appendicitis. So I, they determined that an appendectomy was the best course of treatment for me and um, I felt good for about a month and then afterwards, after that, I, my pain was back. So I knew that that wasn't really helpful for me. And um, in spring of 2022, my pain and nausea really increased significantly and I started losing a lot of weight because I... I couldn't eat a lot of food, I couldn't get it down, and people told me, or my pediatrician actually told, thought that I had an eating disorder. Um, I was sent to a therapist who said that it was an eating, an eating disorder and thought that maybe it was an allergy, so I ran tests for that, and it wasn't. I kind of felt very hopeless, and we kind of put it on the back burner because we didn't know what, it, what, what was causing my pain. Um, but last summer, I, um, oh my God, I don't want to get emotional. I couldn't even get on a flight home from my family vacation because I was in so much pain. And um, I couldn't even get out of the car to walk inside the airport. Oh my God. Oh, sorry guys. Um, this is about two and a half years into this pain and my mom finally decided, or me and my mom, we were like, you know what? I need answers. And um, my mom was convinced after doing lots and lots of research that I was suffering from endometri endometriosis. And um, armed with lots of research, thanks to my incredible mom, uh, we went back to my gynecologist who agreed and thought that I had endometriosis because of my ultrasounds and symptoms. We tried low dose birth control and an IUD, which helped for about four months, and then my pain was back and, and worse than ever. And um, people told me that it, it was stress or anxiety. And at that time in my life, I was. I was great, I was, you know, no, no friend or boy issues or no family drama and I was just going to school and I was still in a lot of pain. Um, things really changed when um, in, in March, Bindi Irwin posted her story on Instagram and her journey with endometriosis and that really, really um, affected me and I, it made me realize that I wasn't alone, I wasn't crazy and what I, feel, what I was feeling wasn't just me. It wasn't in my head. And uh, the stars kind of aligned, and I ended up meeting Bindi Irwin at the Steve Irwin Gala. And I went up to her at, at her table, and I, we talked about endometriosis and her story. And that really changed a lot for me. And my mom decided we were going to find a specialist. And my mom called about 10 different doctors, um, eight who were in LA. And um, some of them couldn't even see me until next year, next May. And a lot of them were cash only and incredibly expensive, which was something we could not afford. And I, I was grateful and incredibly, thankfully able to get in with Dr. Seshkin, who has been incredible and I'm very, very grateful for him and for the answers that he has provided me. I'm grateful to have a plan moving forward, which is kind of all I, I ever really needed going through this was just clear information someone to say that they believed me. Anyway, um, I'm incredibly grateful to have a community 
surrounding me, my family, um, supporting me, and I'm also just grateful to know that, or to have people telling me that my pain is real and that I'm not alone. So if you're out there experiencing the same thing, just know that you're not alone. Thank you very much, and I'm so sorry for crying. <laughs> I didn't think that was gonna happen. So, thank you guys so much, and thank you for coming out and supporting. It means the world to me, and to everyone else in this room, so have a great night. Thank you.